Bible says in verse number three, honor widows that are widows indeed. And then later on, it's, it, 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 you know, give us a little bit more information, but then it defines what a widow indeed is. So who it is that the church really is supposed to be caring for and taking care of. Now, that word honor here, just so you know, in this context, this is more than just being respected because this is talking about actually taking care of them. I, I brought this up in this morning's sermon, but when the word honor is used, it's like honor your, your mother and your father. That's referring to the caring for, uh, especially whether it be financially or just, you know, their, their, their well-being. That's the, the usage here. And the Bible refers to a widow here that is to be honored, which is taken care of. Verse number 9 and 10 kind of gives these requirements for a widow to fit in order to fall in this category of, of being cared for by the church. Verse number 9 and 10 says, Let not a widow be taken in the number under three score years old. So 60 years old, she needs, she, she needs to be at least 60 years old in order for the church to be providing care for. This doesn't mean that if someone's under, a widow under 60 years old that you don't respect them. Right? That's why I want to make clear this is talking about caring for them. We already saw the level of respect. You treat, you treat a woman like this as your mother regardless. But this is someone who's going to receive the honor of being cared for. Uh, let not one be taken under three score years old, having been the wife of one man, well reported of for good works, if she have brought up children, if she have lodged strangers, if she have washed the saints' feet, if she have relieved the afflicted, if she have diligently followed every good work. So what we're going to notice here is that this widow being honored is also going to be reliant on, on her works, on her good deeds, how she lived to receive that level of honor from the church. This isn't just automatically anyone, well, I'm 61 years old and I'm a widow, so the church needs to take care of me. That's, why would these, all these rules be here if that, if that were the case? And um, it is what it is. I think, I think that's a good, uh, <laughs> a good reason a good incentive to help people want to live more godly. How about care, thinking about yourself when you get older? If you become, you know, maybe you don't have any children or maybe, you know, who knows what's going to happen, right? And you want to be cared for, well, be well reported of for good works and, uh, and, and lodge strangers and, you know, and just basically be overall hospitable and, and, and giving and helping others. And, uh, and then you'll be cared for when you're older, jump down to verse number 17. The Bible says, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. So this is talking to about the elders that rule well in the church. This is now referring to that position of, of, a, of a bishop, the, the person who's elder spiritually, that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. And again, just to point out, that word honor doesn't, is not just talking about respect because if it was just respect, how do you have like double respect? So it's kind of a weird thing to have. You either have respect or you don't. It's one of those things you either have or you don't. Double honor is, is the caring of, right? The care that the church provides for the elder who's, who's devoting himself to completely serving and ministering to the church. That's the, the honor it's referring to. But again, tied to the works, it says, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. So not every elder is worthy of double honor, just those that are worthy because they've labored in word and doctrine and they're doing all this hard work. Yeah, reward them for that. That's why the, the, the scripture follows up in verse 18. For the scripture saith, thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn, and the laborer is worthy of his reward. So you got someone laboring, then honor them. Take care of them. 